so I'm back the next morning and ready to cut the sunset and see what it looks like. I've been really excited about this one overnight, hoping that it looks right. The top looks really cute and it smells really good. So as I have before in the past in a couple of other videos, which I guess I could link them below if I can remember which ones. I, I am a lover of poetry and I found two really beautiful poems about sunsets. Sunset is my favorite time of day. They also call it dusk and um, the golden hour. So I wanted to read those while I cut this. But first, let's just do the first one because I'm really excited. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. You know, when you see sunsets and sometimes sunrises where the clouds are purple, that's what I was going for there. Oh, wow. Is that pretty? It's honestly a little bit soft. I'm going to have to be very careful here. Cut carefully. So the first one is by a man named W.E. or William E. Hutchinson. He wrote a book about San Francisco in about 1856. I couldn't find much else about him, but this poem was really beautiful. And it was, when the day is done, there falls a solemn hush. The birds are silent in their humble nest. Then comes the master artist with his brush and paints with brilliant touch the golden west. Wow, that's so pretty. The next one was by a lady named Annette Wynn, and she made poems for pretty much for children. She had a beautiful children's book of poems in around like 1912, I think, 1912, 1916, some, somewhere along those lines. Really beautiful poems. I highly recommend looking her up. This one was the first glad breath of day is dear. The sky is very soft and near. The moon is glorious with light. And afternoon is bright. But I love twilight best, it seems. When all the air is drenched with dreams. And up against the sunset bar. One small dream changes to a star. So the first layer, the pink, is calamine clay, and the purple clouds are purple clay, and the sun and the orange part of the sky is from an infusion of Hungarian paprika, and the blue towards the top of the sky is an infusion from indigo. And the scent is orange and patchouli essential oils, which matches my sun shower bubble bar. So actually, might have to start turning them the other way. Yeah, it always works out to do it that way sometimes. That one had the two clouds. So I'm curious if anyone would like to comment, are you a sunset person or sunrise person? Do you rather wait to watch the end of the day or do you like to get up early and watch the sun rise? Thank you. 
and so this one and the fresh batch of camping will be in the next full moon shop update which is on july 13th shop links will be listed below and if you liked this video and you like naturally colored soaps please think about liking and subscribing because I make new ones every month and they change with the seasons and they're always released on the full moons take care